Hey guys, welcome to another Hunter video. I'm a Night Elf Hunter on the Whisperwind server, and right now we're in Onyxia's Lair. But not just any old Onyxia's Lair, this is the new 80s raid dungeon. Well, not new, but remade 80s raid dungeon, uh, where I am in a 25 man Onyxia. 25? <laughs> uh, we're gonna try to take him down. And I'm just going to show you what you should do as a hunter, but more specifically a Beastmaster hunter. Now, Anixia should be tanked in a way so that her tail does not face the left or right side of the room. The reason for this is because if anybody uh, goes close to those areas, then there are uh, whelplings that hatch and start targeting the raid. And so we want to minimize that pretty much all together so stay away from the left and right uh, tunnels or areas of the room where the eggs are and in the first area it's basically just the tank and spank the uh, tank has to make sure that his back is against the wall so that he doesn't get knocked back and everyone should try to stay away from her tail because she does a tail swipe and here is where I have a problem with how Blizzard has made pets. Pets are affected by tail swipe. Oh, see, there they go. And so that means pets are affected by tail swipe, but they can only attack from behind the enemy. So that means if you're a Beastmaster Hunter, you kind of lose out since your pet is knocked back and a lot of your damage goes away for a few seconds. However, if you're a Beastmaster Hunter, popping out Beast Your Wrath would mean that your pet isn't affected by tail swipe so they can live through or stand still through tail swipe like so right now the other pets are knocked back but my pet isn't because of bestial wrath and at 60 percent she will walk towards the entrance of the room and start flying up into the air and we're almost to that point All right, so she's walking towards the other side of the room. What we decided to do as a raid is get to the center of the room so that uh, we are all together and the tanks and pick up the ads as soon as she flies up. Now, what's different from now compared to back when she was a level 60 raid is that melee can no longer fight her. And so what that means is uh, you will have to send your pet elsewhere because it's not doing anything unless it has some kind of ranged attack then it won't hurt Onyxia at all uh, I suggest well, what I did was there is a new type of elite ads that should be taken down ASAP once they come out so I send my pet onto those and during the raid uh, what you should do is have all the ranged target Onyxia while all the melee target all the Onyxia Welt adds and the Onyxia's guard, lair guard ad, adds. Uh, so I send my pet to the lair guard and I continue targeting down Onyxia. And as for a raid, or sorry, this phase, it's not good for you to be a hunter because, especially a Beastmaster hunter, your pet does a heavy amount of damage and with uh, it not being on Anixia, that means you're not benefiting people as much when you're not on her. And she just did a deep breath. Deep breath is very dangerous. Whenever she does deep breath, she'll actually say deep breath. If you have deadly boss mods, then it'll tell you in big blue text, deep breath is coming out. And so what you should do is find out which way she is facing and move out of that way because she will fire a big line of fire straight onto the direction she is facing. Also, she does fireballs on random members of the raid. Oh, deep breath. Gotta move out of the way. Now, as for your pet, luckily you don't have to worry about it so much because deep breath won't hurt you that much for you to worry about it. Now, as I said, fireballs come at random members of the raid and so if they come on to you the hunter then you could feign death and what that'll do is stop her cast and you'll save yourself some damage now 
the fireballs also have an AoE damage. So if you see that you're standing right next or right on to someone else and he or she starts targeting a fireball onto that person, then get out of the way or else you're going to get some AoE damage as well. And if you see right now there's a hunter pet on Anixia that is not doing anything. Just admiring her nice tail. Deep breath. So get out of the way and get out of the way. Uh, deep breath is pretty much what kills raids in, well, in this raid. If your raid members can get out of deep breath, can avoid it, then you pretty much have this entire uh, raid hands down. If you don't, then unfortunately you're not going to get this. Second phase right now is the most dangerous and if you get her through this phase with most of your members alive, then you pretty much have this instance one. The reason why we want to take out the elite adds is because the elite adds slow down the, uh, the tank with um, a movement debuff. And so you want to take that down so that the tank doesn't get a face full of deep breath. There. She just targeted me for a fireball and I feigned death and now the fireball was cancelled and I saved myself some damage. Now obviously uh, pop your cooldowns whenever possible. My raid used heroism as soon as uh, she started going up into the air and every time one of my uh, uh, what's it called? Cooldowns <laughs> open, then I use them right away. And now she is down, and we're on to the third and final phase. In this phase, she will uh, momentarily use a raid wide fear, and so a tremor totem is very helpful. But also, since you're a Beastmaster, then you can use Beastmaster, and you nor your pet will be affected by her fear. And also, these cracks on the ground, they will start uh, shooting out lava. And you want to avoid these cracks or else you're going to take some damage. Now she has the same skills as uh, in the first phase. So obviously stay out of her tail and stay out of her head area. And also stay out of the places where the whelp eggs are. And that's pretty much a tank and spank from here on out as long as you don't lose too many members. With uh, the cooldown on your Beast Your Wrath, you will usually be able to mitigate one out of every three fears that she does, which is very helpful because you're not taking damage from the lava while you're running around, and you're going to be able to do DPS during this time. So, uh, second phase, a Beastmaster loses out in this instance, but in the third phase, a Beastmaster has the advantage. So with as in all fights sometimes one spec or one class is good at one thing sometimes another class or spec is good at another thing and now we've almost got her down she's almost at five percent you see there, me nor my pet have been affected by that raid white fear while everyone else is running around. Down goes Anixia, down goes Anixia. And we all got the achievement, Anixia Slayer, 25 players. And let's see what she dropped. We have a nice uh, DPS two-hand sword, melee. Uh, judgment Hood for a Paladin, Red Paladin, uh, Warlock, Headgear, Nemesis, Skullcap, and Enlarged Onyxia's Hide Backpack, which I did win in the rolls. 22 slots, Ashen, Sack of Gems, and Head of Onyxia, which is what I really wanted because it gave you uh, quite a good quest for quite a nice reward. 
but nothing dropped for a hunter and we actually had to DE that warlock headgear so I hate DEing something of such high item level but what can you do so that's it for this video if you want to see all the things that drop off of Enixia on 25 player mode then I'll have all the items linked on my website so go to my website tribunalxhunter.com or click the link in the sidebar and I'll have all the items listed and so thank you very much for watching and take care till next time